Welcome Paladin Gaming. Uh, we are going into probably a dreamscape. I'm sure there's one before every myth mission, but the third dreamscape sequence before the 17th mission. Alright, so... <clears throat> going into another dreamscape, this personal log will be a database entry uh, reading as usual. Dreamscape. We danced together. Vidara said, Laporte, come on, come on, you've got to come. She was laughing. I couldn't say no. Can't say no to a laugh. She's a warm person. She's got big eyes. She'd thrown a party in the ship's condenser garden to celebrate your successful assassination of an elder. Mist and plastic sheeting all over. People dressed in plastic. Fedeen don't get hung over, see? The dreamscape repairs it. Discipline is loose. Huh. Vidara got us together. Falcata, the four of us. We did shots. We danced. I felt whole. Surprised Falconer put up with that. Not a sexual thing. Not like family. I felt like I was with myself. The dreamscape is optimizing us to fly together. Our body language follows. My body reads them each as me. But it's more than just body language, and Vidara knows it. She reminds me of a weaponized version of Karen. She's always trying to get inside, always trying to know. Falconer breaks things. Vidara repairs them. Each of them. K, F, V. They're elusive, incomplete. Components of a person, you know. They've been assembled around me, like scaffolding. Like the rails in a railgun. L-K-F-V. Laporte's Catabasis for victory. I had fun. If you're out there, I hope that doesn't make you angry. You've heard of the usual, uh, the usual thing. Primary objectives. Obtain information or awaken. Let's commit. Here we are, as usual. There's... Thorn in his usual spot. Geometries of War. Pull our tracking on intrusion ballistic launch points. Any progress on figuring out what's happening inside my head? You won't find anything, Cassandra Mist Operator. We're still factoring your neural data against GTI records. Alright, Thorn, how's the war? Second Fleet has been busy heading off attacks on Mars. The Tevs have a new strategy. They sort these squadrons through the node from Delta Serpentis, took them straight to Mars, and moved them back through the node. A full intersystem jump before combat? They can't have that much fuel left for actual time over the target. They must be topping off after the jump. Is there any way for us to get pressure directly on the node? Admiral Calder is interested in doing just that. He's reaching out to us for a joint op. Refuses to go through the council, so mostly his people just yell at anyone who seems vaguely fedeen. <laughs> <laughs> Calder, still soldiering on after all this. He's down to what, a destroyer and three frigates? More or less, a few cruisers, but he's not giving up, and Admiral Natraba is still supporting him where he can. He keeps steel on his toes, and his pilots are veteran going on elite, if also utterly exhausted. I always like Calder, soul of a warrior. He still has the Tutatus in fighting shape, and he still has strike bomber wings. Between the destroyer and the Durgas, he could do significant damage if we could get him into the right place. The problem is forcing the Tevs into an error. Use Lopez. She's too caring. That makes her predictable. The same trick twice? Do you really think she'd take the bait? Forget bait. All we have to do is force her to choose between her ship and the lives of her comrades. <coughs> well, that's a problem, isn't it? Get to get into the idea about Lopez. The analysts agree. She's a weak link. There are signs that our framing of the gaps during the bellwether attack has paid off. Lopez is a superb field commander, but too to connected to her crews. Kovacs. Naga Nagamaki spinning up for interrogations at Solus Locus. Eso fuso dos roi terra. Let's go see what the nut jobs, what the Vasudan nut jobs have to say. The 
no reason not to max engine. Straight yes no answer, please. Did you transmit schematics to me from the Pesed jet? Captain Aprace is an agent of the hammer. He was empowered to gift you with an important tool. The captain himself, huh? Thank you. Your directness is refreshing. Now, what were the schematics for? What was that mathematical database that came with them? You're asking the wrong question. What you should wonder is why you were chosen to receive them and how it was that Captain Epris identified you. Okay, I'll bite. How could a Vasudan logistics ship captain have possibly identified me after arranging to have his own ship waylaid? How would he know I'd respond? The Besed Jet incident was a fortunate happenstance. He or another Hammer agent would have found you sooner or later somewhere in Saul. As for why you were chosen, Terran, do you believe in precognition? I don't believe in it, no. I know that's physically impossible, but I do believe in simulation, and simulation sufficiently advanced to foretell events to come. I admire the precision of your language. You think as a Vasudan. But what if I told you that many Vasudans have glimpsed the future? Not by any special organ or aptitude, but because they were touched by an alien force. They are minds in this galaxy whose some capacity for thought exceeds all the Terrans and Vasudans that have ever lived. If they were to gift us with their simulations, would they not be like unto prophecy? So what you're saying is one of you saw me? And conversation ends. Even Emperor Khonsu II recognizes the Vasudan talent for foresight. What you see as prophecy and mysticism, we see as scientific truth. Alright, he's repeating himself. Falconer, Spatha has gone to ground in Jupiter trailing Trojans under attack by SOC. Alright, let's talk with Kovacs. Kovacs, I can't wait to tell you about this last sortie. He already knows. <laughs> I heard. Needle right in the heart of the beast. Where'd you get the ice water transfusion to pull that off? At least they didn't ask me to fly into the Atreus' spider bay, right? <laughs> Fuck, that takes me back. That memory's in the dreamscape somewhere if you ever want to go over it. So I splash an elder, and here I am giggling about it. I must be getting some bleed from Falconer. You're doing what you have to do to survive. That's who we are. We take the steps before us. Traitors have their reasons, but I think it was the wrong call. Hendrickson thought she was doing what was right. I respect that. Calculus of Survival. al -Dawa. Thorn, stand by for Bane. Treachery in the Council of Elders. I wish it didn't make so much sense. The Fedayeen have been aware for some time now that the Elders are fracturing. This war was utterly unanticipated and it threatens humanity's future. This comes up again and again, and still I don't see why. The war's bad, but not extinction bad. The pilot that led the attack on the Lucifer came to Earth with a wealth of information on Shivan behavior. GTI intelligence bore his visions out. The Elders inherited this data. So what, the Shivans are drawn to conflict? That's a theory I've heard, but it's not one I buy. The ancients subjugated entire species before the Shivans wiped them out. The Shivans are an enigma. It's their counterparts that are of concern to us. Their psychology is more centralized and more transparent. We can assign stimulus response networks to them. Counterparts? I'm not sure I follow. Look, if mankind is under threat of external invasion, I'm the last one who'd advocate surrender, but doesn't living come before winning this war? The Council of Elders believes that sophisticated aliens can understand their societies and act to engineer them towards an unknown purpose. The Council believes that we are being watched and measured for potential. We must open the record. If the Federation falls to the Alliance, the Council is convinced that the result will be human extinction, whether now or in a thousand years. Uh... So this, the council believes that we have to let these aliens manipulate us in order to survive. The council has always had plans to handle or even ameliorate the threat of Shivan invasion. They are now in jeopardy. The Shivans and whatever structure they may be embedded in are hideously alien and complex. And complex. Have we killed more guests than anyone else in the solar system? The Shivan. That depends on which one of us you're asking, Kovacs. Untranslatable. 
Post hate, post rates. Kovacs deer just let go. Alright, Falconer. Vidara is defense in death. I killed an elder. I even enjoyed it, I think. Thought you'd be proud. You really don't get it, do you? You may be Aldawa's golden girl, but I'm wondering if you really belong with the Fedigine at all. What the fuck is your problem, Falconer? I assassinate one of my childhood heroes. I come here looking for the good in it, and that's what you've got? Yeah, thought so. Probe your enjoyment, it's just angst underneath. That's my problem, Laporte. Childhood heroes, looking for the good in it. You're still caught in the past. Falconer, if anyone here is unfit for the Fedigin, it's you. You cross the line from, necess from necessary brutality to savagery, professionally and personally. I've always said the benefits of bloodlust scale faster than the cost of collateral damage. You're never going to learn that, are you? I damn well hope I never do. What, did I hurt your feelings? Thorn, I just want you to take joy in your work. When joy improves my results, I'm joyful. All right, Vidara. Falconer contains Falcon. Who are you? There's an object there. I can see it moving. Dreamscape. Press fire to rock out. Teach me what gifts are afraid of. Oh! That's the unknown thing. Vacuum, starvation, disease each other. Are you going to try to tell me what you did with Hendrickson was easy? No, but it wasn't hard either. She was a target and I had a mission. Fear and doubt those you leave at home. And now you're back home and they're waiting to greet you. Laporte, let's be realistic. Your hormone hormone assays are full of cortisol spikes. You can't keep this kind of intensity up. I bow to neurochemistry. Now what do you want me to do about it? Cassandra's already chewing out plans for my next sortie. There are simple behavioral triggers to bleed stress. I'd say exercise, but you've got the angry gym bug already. Meditation's good if you can stomach it. Talk to other people, whatever you need. Alright, alright. Hard data wins the day. If you think my horns in the field's at risk, I'll ease up. So, Isidore, when we wake up, fun's on you. Isidore Vidara, is that her? War is loved by other beings. I know you don't want to get close. Given your history, I don't blame you. Maziev's a big ship. We've got a lot of options. They're not all going to feel badass, but so it goes. A dancer on the middle cross? Yeah. <laughs> Kovacs, are you serious? Is that really you? Sorry, I was playing with a retrofit. Alright, so just the firewalls. Pretty sure Ricardo Laporte doesn't change, but we'll go out there anyway, just in case. Anyway, meanwhile... You don't care about the casualties, just the effect they have on, Mar on Laporte. <laughs> Nothing to say? Messages. Let's see. Do we get one from Nabirzal? I see you. Stand up, Terran. Reach. You come this far. Come a little further. Reach for me. If you can't try getting your next dream, never give up. Okay, I just missed it because that scrolled through because I was time compressing. All right. V, tell me something I'd hate about the guests. In cramped habitat, social skills are a prized virtue. <laughs> I want to be a guest for a while. I have proxies from Kukri Wing. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Well, 
let's aim over there and punch it. Beta Wing on station and swapping designation to Alpha Wing. You should probably hide now. Ricardo Laporte 4. Okay, so yeah, this is gonna be the same thing. Maybe I'll stop coming out here, but you never know. Command, once again you have surrounded me with fuckwits. Some asshole has scratched my paint job. You dev bastards come to bomb my planet, but you don't know what you are getting yourselves into, huh? My sister here. You have messed with Noemi Laporte. Is she going to stain you Mars Brown with her poop? I hear a marker ship for you so you know where a smell come from. Hang on a sec. Here's uh, Alpha. The f this is not a touch screen. Well, Hang on a sec. Hey. All right. So, you, you, uh, this has you, uh, been the dream you hold on a sec. I got a call Paladin support. Gaming. Hey, Noemi! Hey, your wingman, game. Kara Nangmang, she tell me you have a date? And we are going a date to with a real person, yeah? Yes! This is amazing! So this oh, I is, can't believe uh, it. This is oh, hey, Gaming you know, off you know you're going Ricardo. to screw this up, All okay? Right. So, you take my advice, 